Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, anybody can confirm if I'm audible? Are you able to hear me? Am I audible, please? Anybody? Uh, good evening, uh, good evening everybody. everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, are you able to hear me? Can anybody confirm if I am audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good evening, everybody. Uh, today we will be dealing with demerit charge. Now, first of all, before going uh, per se into the class, let us discuss what demerit is and why it is essential that uh, this particular uh, demerit is collected. Because we are dealing with goods basics. Okay. I just want to take you uh, uh, from class one or even LKG. Uh, preschool, play school, whatever you call it, because uh, as we go on into the class, then we can uh, learn more and more. Now, what is demerage and why it should be collected? So, that is what we will be taking up first in the first 10 minutes. Now, demerage is in fact not an earnings for the railway. Uh, it is construed as a fine or a penalty on the customer and although it is construed as money being collected from the customer uh, the buck stops there okay uh, from that point on we do not take it in our uh, uh, we do not uh, uh, take it in our account at all okay we just don't take it into our account we just uh, uh, keep it separately and we do not use that money for anything now the advantage of this is that we if the party wants it back for some reason we can always give it back okay so uh, let me uh, uh, tell you why we collect demerage now the reason why demerage is collected is because we do not want the customer to take any amount of time to unload a wagon right yadi ek rake hum place kiya to humko ye nahi chahta ki wo करीबन छः घंटा दिया अनलोडिंग के लिए वो बारह घंटा लिया नो वॉट इज द रीजन द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल इट इज कॉल्ड वैगन टर्न अराउंड इंडियन रेलवे वी नो दैट अर्न अर्न मनी फ्रॉम द कैरियज ऑफ कस्टमर्स और पैसेंजर्स देयर लगेज पार्सल एज वेल एज गुड्स नो वैन अ वैगन टू कैरी द गुड्स कमोडिटी वी नीड अ कंटेनर दैट कंटेनर इट इज कॉल्ड अ वैगन now many wagons together form a rake what happens when we uh, do not put a penalty is that the customer will take his own sweet time to unload the rake and this will create problems for us what are the problems that will be created the rake which is been given for unloading will stay for a very long time with us and we will be losing the revenue so when it goes from a to b and then b to c and c to d so every turn of the wheel we are earning money but if the rake is not moving then we don't earn money uh, we just keep the wagons idle to prevent that we collect a small charge which is called the demerit charge now this demerit charge is not treated as earnings because in certain cases this demerit can be returned to the party or refunded to the party okay the demerit can be refunded to the party also now let us see why that facility is given because many a time what happens is that the reason for demerit is not in the hands of the customer they are called force majeure conditions or act of god or whatever so what may those be they may be that there is a lorry strike going on where no lorry is permitted a band is there or uh, maybe the laborers are on strike now these are all the reasons or causes which are beyond the hands of the customer he may be the consignor or the consignee so demerage is collected equally both at the loading station and at the unloading station depending on the delay that the rake is undergoing now what is the actual 
time that is given for every wagon that is what we are looking at now that is called the free time what is a free time free time is the reasonable time given for a rake to be loaded or unloaded okay either loaded or unloaded or there is a term called back loading wherein the same rake is unloaded and a new commodity loaded into it so in either of the three situations that is loading unloading or back loading in all the three situations a certain amount of time is given to the customer to do his uh, task and after that beyond that if there is a delay then we are collecting a small charge called the demerit charge now this demerit charge as already discussed can be waived off or returned to the uh, customer uh, if at all uh, he is not able to uh, you know uh, Ah uh, yeah, he is not. He, he, if if at all the customer is not able to, uh, for, I mean he is able to show cause that there is genuine reason that he could not, uh, uh, you know, uh, unload the consignment. Okay, now let us. I'll share my screen and I'll take the class right away. First, we will be discussing the free time. Okay, we'll be first discussing what is the free time, how much is the free time. Okay, so let me uh, go back to that now. Uh, let me share my screen. Is my screen visible? Anybody can uh, please tell me if my screen is visible? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, now I'll put it a little more big. One seventy five. Okay, so. This is the topic we are going to deal today. It is called demerit charge. Okay, what is demerit? Demerit is the charge levied for detention of rolling stock beyond the permissible free time allowed for loading and unloading. As already discussed, demerit is a charge that is levied upon the customer for the delay in loading or unloading. We are giving them certain time. if within that time the action does not take place then we are charging okay demerit is always charged on eight wheeler basis that means per wagon basis demerit is charged per wagon basis the free time for loading unloading of wagons are notified by the railway board okay the rail who noti who notifies it the railway board decides what is the free time required for loading or unloading all days are working days including days non days that means we saw that there are three days non days that is mahatma gandhi jayanti independence day and republic day however for the case of demerit for the calculation of demerit we do not give any leave or uh, off days which is called as days non days now when a wagon is wagon demand is cancelled after physical supply of wagon no free time is allowed and demerit is levied from the time of placement of the wagon till the cancellation of the indent now this is a very important uh, rule to note suppose a uh, customer uh, consignor has indented for 42 bcn to take rice and the rake is placed at 10 am on a date now if the customer wants to cancel the demand after the physical supply of the wagon then the free time which is usually granted for the customer to load that is not given because anyway he is not going to load so from the moment the wagon is placed that is from 10 o'clock itself the demerit is calculated without giving a free time okay then if loading is not commenced within free time allotment is cancelled wdrf is also forfeited and demerit collected without granting free time see this is another very important rule if within the free time if you say that for a particular rake the free time is 6 hours or 9 hours or 12 hours depending on the type of wagon if the loading is not commenced within that free time then also we collect a uh, gautam you are telling something i don't know what you are telling anyway i'll come back to you afterwards so if the loading is not commenced within the free time then 
the allotment is cancelled that means the rake is not given to you that is also cancelled the rake which was supposed to be given to you that will be removed okay and the wagon demand registration fee which is paid is also forfeited that is also not given back and demurrage is collected without granting free time from the moment the rake is placed we start collecting demurrage why the reason can anybody tell me why if loading is not commenced within free time all these things are done can anybody tell why one of you can unmute and tell me anybody anyone nobody is having an idea nobody is having an idea uh, to decrease the wagon turnover and to increase the wtr no wagon turnover is definitely go, that's a that's a factor but why are we uh, doing this loading is not commence within free time he why are we uh, doing all this so much of fine for him there is a logic in this party no it's a purely logical question uh, logic aap aap man mein logic apply karo okay main batata hu yadi hum uh, humne ek cab ko book kiya hai na cab aa gaya ghar ka pass hum bol rahe bhai 5 minute ruko 5 minute ka baad bhi aap gaadi pe nahi baitha 10 minute ho gaya 20 minute ho gaya aadha ghanta ho gaya pauna ghanta ho gaya ek ghanta ho gaya वहां तक आप गाड़ी में बैठा नहीं मगर चुप से आप आपका घर में है और कैब उधर कट रहा है क्या हो रहा है इधर इधर क्या हो रहा है अननेसेसरीली दैट फेलो इज वेटिंग और इसका ऊपर यह है कि उसको शक ही नहीं कि आप आ रहे हैं या नहीं आप बार बार वो बार बार आपको फोन कर रहे हैं आप फोन को काट रहे हैं फोन भी अटेंड नहीं कर रहे आप उधर गाड़ी में भी नहीं बैठ रहे ओटीपी दे गाड़ी में भी नहीं बैठ रहे इसका मतलब क्या हुआ वो कैब वाला का आपका ऊपर जो आ, शक है वो इट इज इट इज रियली जस्टिफाइड इज इट नॉट यस आर नो यस हाँ बिकॉज ही डज नॉट नो इफ यू विल एवर गेट इन टू द कैब लाइक दैट हियर आल्सो इफ द लोडिंग इज नॉट कमेंस्ड विद इन द फ्री टाइम वी गेट अ डाउट वेदर ही इज अट ऑल गोइंग टू लोड द वैगन सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर टेलिंग वी हैव गिवन द वैगन यू स्टार्ट योर वर्क इट इज ओके इफ यू डिले दर्क ये जी ये जो छह घंटा नौ घंटा दिया है उसके ऊपर ले लो परवा नहीं उसको फाइन दे दो मगर आप काम ही नहीं शुरू किया तो इसका मतलब है कि हमारा शक आ रहा है कि आ, आप लोड करेगा या नहीं डू यू अंडरस्टैंड सो वी गेट अ डाउट वेदर इज इवन गोइंग टू लोड सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग इफ द लोडिंग इज नॉट कमेंस्ड विद इन द फ्री टाइम देन दीज थ्री थिंग्स विल हैपन अलॉटमेंट इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड डब्ल्यू डी आर एफ इज गेटिंग फोरफिटेड and demurrage will start ticking from that moment he uh, from the moment we have placed the rake okay eighth point if the consignor gives see this is point number 7 abhi tak dekha abhi point number 8 iska connected hai point number 8 uska 7 ko connected hai abhi dekhunga kya hai point number 8 if the consignor gives in writing to detain the wagon beyond free time for loading in such cases if loading is not commenced within 24 hours indent is cancelled wdr forfeited demerit charge without free time abhi 7 point dekha 8 point mein thoda alag se hai kya hai alag se yadi consignor ne likhne writing mein diya if the consignor gives in writing to detain the wagon because he is telling okay i i ordered for something some lorries they have not come there is a labor strike which i am trying to resolve okay my factory is closed because there is some power issue you major power issue is there we are uh, we are working on a war footing to rectify it whatever be the reason in such cases if the consignor gives in writing to retain the wagon beyond the free time for loading in such cases even if the loading is not commenced then it is okay but within 24 hours he has to commence loading अदरवाइज इंडेंट इज कैंसल्ड डब्ल्यू डी आर एफ फोरफिटेड सेवन पॉइंट का आठ पॉइंट का फर्क यह है कि पॉइंट नंबर एट में कंसेन और लिखे देता है कि भाई आपका जो जो वैगन सप्लाई किया उसको मेरा आई वॉन्ट दो वैगन आप रखिए इधर मैं शुरू करता हूँ लोडिंग और आप रेलवे ने छब्बीस घंटा का टाइम दे रहा है इसको ओके नाउ पॉइंट नंबर नाइन इन केस ऑफ ब्लॉक रेक 
that means in case of a set rake in indian railways we don't have piece mill now everything is block rake only so you can tell 100% of the time even if one wagon is detained beyond free time demerage is levied for the entire rake please dhyan se sun lo yadi ek 58 bcn place kiya bcn hl sorry bcn hl place kiya 6 baje ko aur iska फ्री टाइम नौ नौ बज नौ घंटा है सो सिक्स ओ क्लॉक प्लेसमेंट नाइन आवर्स फ्री टाइम फिफ्टीन आवर्स नाइन प्लस सिक्स इज फिफ्टीन एट फिफ्टीन आवर्स द फ्री टाइम इज एक्सपायरिंग इफ ही हैज लोडेड फिफ्टी सेवन वैगन ऑल्सो अप टू फोर्टीन फिफ्टी फाइव एंड इवन थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द फिफ्टी एट वैगन एंड ओनली क्वार्टर ऑफ द लास्ट वैगन इज लेफ्ट and he takes 3 hours to do that for the last wagon then for the entire 58 wagons again and again i'm telling you for the entire 58 wagons for those 3 hours the demerage is charged can anybody tell why because of that one wagon that entire rake is detained sir because fantastic. of that we will yes fantastic that is the answer correct exactly you have caught the bull by the horns so what we are trying to say here is that even if that one wagon is detained it is not the question of that one wagon the whole rake is getting detained we are not able to remove the rake when the wheel is in motion we are running when the wheel is stopped then we are not running we, you the customer has prevented us from moving all the 58 wagons including the last wagon so what we say it is okay the you have only one wagon left but for us we are not able to move the remaining 57 wagons and collect money from another customer after your work is over so in such cases for the entire wagon we are collecting the wagon demand i mean sorry demerit charge separate free time is given for crane consignments why crane consignment is a very fast loading and unloading because it is mechanical okay no human hand is used in unloading and loading except the crane operator so we are what you are telling is that separate free time is given for crane consignments demerit charges should be collected locally and should not be included in the railway receipt at no point of time should demerit be collected at the destination for a detention at the loading point remember this for detention of the rake at the loading point loading point itself should collect the demerit it should not be returned in the rr and ask it to be collected at the destination when taking delivery okay there is no uh, uh, cash on delivery for demerit demerit charge should be accounted on the debit side of the balance sheet when you prepare your monthly balance sheet then in that case this demerit charge is accounted on the debit side okay if the wagons placed for loading and unloading are distributed for the purpose of uh, disturbed sorry for the purpose of shunting the period should not be taken into account either for granting free time or demerage that means if in a station it is a small station you are having only 21 bcn capacity 42 bcn is asked 21 bcn is placed after the loading is completed for 21 bcn that 21 loaded wagons are removed and a fresh lot of 21 empty wagons are placed that time in between the removal of the loaded 21 first bit and the placement of second bit of 21 empties for again loading that is not taken into consideration either for calculation of free time or for demerage which is very logical is it not because we have the wagon is not available for him to load so we cannot collect money for something which is not in his hands the station master is sometimes what happens is uh, these wagons are removed for operational reasons also supposing there is an urgent repair work to be done on the track there is some other restriction urgently so for any reason whatsoever if the rake is disturbed and taken away and then placed again after some time even in such cases we will not collect demerage and will not be calculated the sm station master should give in writing the reason for disturbing the wagons after placement why audit and vigilance will be very particular 
about why a customer has been uh, has not been charged remereage uh, uh, so later on at that point in time we may not be able to recollect why the wagons were disturbed इसके लिए स्टेशन मास्टर ने लिखे देना है कि ये जो रेक है इस टाइम को प्लेसमेंट हुआ पहला बिट इस टाइम को ख़त्म हुआ हम दूसरा बिट प्लेसमेंट के लिए इस जो पहले है लोडिंग लोडेड उसको निकाला वो पूरा टाइम बता के लिख के देना राइटिंग में और हम उसको पेस्ट करके रखना क्योंकि ऑडिटर या विजिलेंस आया तो उसको दिखने के लिए ठीक होता है uh in another 8 uh, minutes this session is closing i'll open a new session you can join there but right now we'll continue here demerit charge shall be levied at the rate of 150 rupees per hour i'm sorry at the rate of 150 rupees per hour or part of an hour per eight wheeler irrespective of their carrying capacity this is one more important point you have to note irrespective of the carrying capacity that means whatever be the type of wagon that is placed for a very eight wheeler it the the, the rake with the wagon may be a small one the wagon may be a big one uh, uh, or it may be a tank wagon it may be a bcn wagon it may be it may be a bcn hl wagon whatever is the type of wagon irrespective of that we will be charging 150 rupees per hour or part of an hour part of an hour ka matlab kya hai yadi 1 ghanta 2 minute gaadi detain hua un 2 minute ko 1 ghanta samajh ke 2 ghanta ka demerit lega yadi 1 ghanta 59 minutes hua us time bhi 2 ghanta ka demerit hum lenge okay so please understand that demerit is per hour or part of an hour if it is 1 hour 1 minute 2 hours if it is 1 hour 59 minutes 2 hours if it is 2 hours 1 minute 2 plus 1 3 hours okay anybody has a doubt i'll give you time to ask doubts you can ask you can just jot down or note down in a paper now base rate of demerit charge is 150 rupees per hour for eight wheeler half of the above rate shall be charged for four wheeler we don't have four wheelers now so that question does not arise we are almost Uh, dispensed with uh, most of the four wheelers however if there is a four wheeler then it will be charged at 75 rupees per hour or part of an hour so what is the demerit charge we are coming to a very important point now demerit charge what is it how much we charge i will take questions another 5 minutes are there anybody has a question you can ask now before i go into the next 18th point because it's a big point anybody has a doubt you can please ask open nobody having a doubt most of my participants are uh, very intelligent i think pradeep danish gautam jagadishan sandhya reena rukmini selvi shailesh soumya श्रीनिवासलो ओ श्रीनिवासलो गारो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सर हां श्रीनिवासलो इज अ स्टेशन मास्टर राइट यस सर यस सर यस सर स्टेशन सुपरिटेंडेंट स्टेशन सुपरिटेंडेंट इज फैंटास्टिक यस सर सो एनी डाउट्स एनीबॉडी इज हैविंग ओके वी विल गो फर्दर नाउ दिस सेशन इज क्लोजिंग इन 5 मिनट्स सो आई विल हैव दैट 5 मिनट्स टाइम एंड फिनिश ऑफ दिस डेमरेज चार्ज विल बी लेविड एज फॉलोस Previously, demerit charge was levied at 150 rupees per hour or part of an hour, irrespective of the time limit. That means even if it takes 100 hours or 200 hours or even three years, the demerit was constant. We railways realized very late that this is not going to work, and we have to increase the punishment slowly. We have to go on increasing the punishment proportional to the. a uh, time taken we we could not afford to uh, you know uh, let go uh, free hand so what we thought if if the excess detention beyond the free time please remember it is beyond free time we are not telling 6 hours from the placement of the wagon the the, the times given here are after the expiry of free time uh, i'll tell you what are the free times for each type of wagon that is also there today 
but first of all remember that the duration of excess detention beyond the free time after the free time expires up to 6 hours after the free time expires if the rake is detained we are collecting 150 rupees per wagon per hour or part thereof as already discussed but if the detention is beyond 6 hours and 12 hours after the completion of free time beyond 6 hours more than 6 hours and within 12 hours after the expiry of free time we collect base rate plus 10 percent what is the base rate plus 10 percent can anybody tell me Yes, sir, 165. 165. How did how did that 165 come? Sir, 150 plus 10% of 150, sir. Ah, that is what. So 150. So let me let me show it to you in an Excel so that you can understand better. Okay. So the base rate. base rate is 150 so escalation is 10 percent so the new the rate will be the rate of demerage okay the rate of demerage will be 150 is equal to is equal to 150 into 10 percent will be the escalation 15 rupees escalation so when you add that 15 rupees here you will get this new demerage charge that is 165 okay so this will be the demerage when when the rake is de de detained beyond 6 hours and up to 12 hours that means what we are increasing the punishment slowly because we know that he is doing it on purpose or he is not taking steps to give the rake back within our specified free time. Okay. Uh, shall we close this session and come for a new one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. So we'll just wait for a minute for everybody to join. Previously, before this orders came into effect, uh, we were calculating uh, demerage uh, on a very notional basis. That means, whenever you give it, we were charging the same thing only. Now, uh, uh, as you can see in the screen, uh, in on 13 September 2022, that is almost exactly a uh, year ago, that uh, we uh, the matter has been reviewed and decided to revise the guidelines. So that was when we started this new uh, demerage. So the existing <laughs> guidelines. Uh, the existing guidelines was that demerage shall be charged at 150 per eight wheeler wagon per hour or part of the hour for the detention in excess of the permissible free time. That was the existing guidelines. But uh, we revised it uh, on 13 9 uh, 2022 while the circular here 
I'll be sharing the circular with you after the class. Uh, we started to tell that uh, this uh, we are going to increase it uh, uh, gradually so that you will feel the pinch and then you will start unloading quicker. Okay. Now, if the rake is de uh, detained beyond 12 hours and up to 24 hours after the expiry of free time, again I am reiterating whatever times are given here is after the expiry of the free time. So, if the rake is detained beyond 12 hours and up to 24 hours after the expiry of the free time, we are charging base rate plus 25 percent. So, what does it become? It becomes 38 rupees. Okay. So, if this comes here, then the new rate will be 187 rupees 50 paise. Okay. So, this will be the new demerage. Why? When the rake is detained beyond 12 hours and up to 24 hours after the expiry of the free time. So, you can see here that we are trying to increase the penalty slowly. We are slowly trying to poison him and telling him, Are bhai, dekho, jitna deri aap kar rahe, utna aapka bhi muskil hai, hai na? Ki aap jada pay karna uh, padega. Uh, you will think that uh, on the face of it, if you look at it, 150 rupees is nothing. But uh, let me tell you, when we are doing a calculation, which we will be doing, you will see that very quickly, be, be, in the blink of an eye, this will, uh, it's like a compound interest, okay? It, go, it go, grows fa very fast. Now, the fourth slab beyond 24 hours and up to 48 hours after the expiry of the free time then it will become base rate plus 50 percent so here it automatically will calculate if i put 50 here it will become 225 okay so you can see how every second of your time it is going on increasing then the next slab beyond 48 hours and up to 72 hours after the completion of free time then we are bringing twice the twice the base rate see here how much it becomes escalation this becomes 150 can you see how much we are increasing so uh, sorry sorry twice so the escalation is again 150 correct so 150 plus 150 the it becomes 225 and 375 will become the demerage so, beyond 72 hours, three times the base rate. Okay. So, you can see that this demerit charge is a very dangerous thing to play with and before you know, it will go on increasing. The rate goes on increasing uh, before you know it and uh, you we are urging the customers, we are encouraging the customers, we are pleading with the customers to give the rate back as soon as possible. Now, this demerage is common or constant both for loading and unloading. Okay. Both for loading and unloading, it is same. The rate is the same. However, however, please remember, sometimes the free time given for loading and the free time given for unloading for the same wagon may be different because of operational reasons. Sometimes the free time for the same type of wagon will be different for loading and unloading. That means for loading you may give 3 hours, for wheat, let me say wheat 58 wagons, you may give 9 hours, but for unloading you may give only 7 hours or you may give even 11 hours. That depends based on the orders of the railway board taking into consideration the type of commodity, the type of wagon utilized, the type of loading mechanism, the type of unloading mechanism. These are the things which are taken after a work study, they will they will do a work study and then come to a conclusion what is the optimum time that should be given. Our next class will be on that only and uh, the next uh, next session, not the next class today itself. This is another important point, point number 19. For RMC and military wagons, demerage is collected on par with public rates. Whatever is the rate you are collecting for public, for railway materials as well as for military, the same amount is collected. Why? Because even if it is RMC and military, railway is still suffering the same loss of our wagon turnaround or the capacity of earnings which the wagon can give us. 
Anybody is having a doubt? Please read this. Anybody is having a doubt? I, I, I am sh putting the screen. You please read this and anybody is having a doubt, you can ask me. Take two or three minutes of your time because this is a very important class. Selvi, you are there? हमारा बेस रेट क्या है बेस रेट इधर देखो इधर पढ़ो ब्लू ब्लू में लिखा है मतलब क्या है दोगुन डबल डबल कितना होता है तीन सौ रुपए हाँ एंड इधर त्रेस का मतलब थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स कितना होता है फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज पेर वैगन पेर आर और पार्ट ऑफ एन आर ओके एक वैगन के लिए 58 वैगन्स का मतलब इसको 58 से मल्टीप्लाई करना पड़ेगा है ना समझ में आया समझ गया ओके एनीबॉडी हैविंग अ डाउट सर वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय साइड यस प्लीज जैसे अगर मोर देन 72 आवर्स मान लीजिए डिटेन हुई रहे हां तो ऐसे जो चार्ज करेंगे वो एकदम से थ्री टाइम्स लेंगे या उसको पार्ट वाइज डिवाइड करेंगे नहीं पार्ट वाइज डिवाइड करना फर्स्ट सिक्स आवर्स को इतना लेना उसका बाद ये लेना उसका बाद ये लेना ये लेना ये लेना वैसा वो स्टैगर्ड ही स्टैगर्ड इट विल बी स्टैगर्ड ओके ओके यस सर एनी बडी है डाउट Selvi, if you have a doubt, you can ask. However, silly it is. Don't worry. We are there for that. Sandhya, you also. Anybody? No, sir. Any doubts? No. Sir, no doubt. Sir, sir, yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. So we are we are going further. Now, this is another important point. I request everybody to mute their microphones. If you want to speak, you can. If you want to speak, you can unmute and speak. Okay. Now we are going to the one more important point. In case of excessive congestion at any terminal or steel plant, CCM, that is the Chief Commercial Manager, or COM that is the chief operations manager or the divisional railway manager please remember these three are equal rank officers principal chief commercial manager principal chief operations manager and the divisional ma railway manager are at an equal level they can increase the demurrage very very important see already we know that the demurrage is more but if there is more congestion yadi aham socha ki purposefully the customers are delaying uh, rake re, uh, uh, loading or unloading or if we think that that uh, we we need to uh, you know penalize the customers more because of because we need uh, to uh, there is a lot of inside that means many more wagons are coming inside and we need that uh, space then drm or pcom or pccm can increase the demerit charge even at progressively increasing rates subject to a maximum of 6 times of the prevalent rate after giving 48 hours notice iska matlab kya hai progressively increasing rate that means drm or ccm or pcom mein kaise for the first 3 days we will be charging two times for the next two days we will be charging three times for the next 4 3 days even if you detain we will be charging four times like that progressively they can go on increasing up to six times the prevailing rate so if it is beyond 72 hours 
what will be the fate of this fellow see already we are collecting 450 rupees 6 times of 450 can you imagine what will be see here let me tell you let me tell you suppose 450 rupees is the uh, uh, 3 times rate now if it is 6 times then what will be the fate is equal to this into 6 times 2700 rupees per hour or part of an hour and if he is having 58 wagons what will be the fate for the trek for a 1 hour for 1 hour he will have to pay 156600 rupees as demerage how much 156600 rupees as demerage for detaining 58 wagons for only 1 hour इसके लिए ये बहुत महत्व है कि ये पावर्स हमारा पीसीसीएम से सीओएम को और या डीआरएम को दिया गया है यदि एक्सेसिव कंजेशन है इन लोगों ने 24 फोर आवर्स नोटिस देने के बाद छह गुण तक डेमरेज को बढ़ सकता है इवन प्रोग्रेसिवली मतलब एक ही बार भी कर सकता है एक ही वन शॉट ही कैन डू और प्रोग्रेसिवली ऑल्सो ही कैन डू for the first two days i am increasing it by double for the other three days after that it will go up by four times like that also he can say any doubt regarding this one okay now wherever railway gives railway also takes so because we are taking them raise we are giving some facilities to the customer we are giving him a what is called the carrot and stick policy you know what a carrot and stick policy is hai na ek carrot wo donkey ka aage ek stick mein dal ke rakha hai the donkey will go on moving front thinking it will eat the carrot it will never eat the carrot but it is always moving forward so when there is a heavy load on the donkey transportation takes place so like that incentives for extended working hours and immediate removal of goods as an introductory incentive consignors or consignees to release the rack extended raat mein 10 baje ke baad yadi wo unloading ya loading karne ke liye wo agree karta hai us time jitendra please mute okay so if during 22 hours after 22 hours and up to 6 hours then only 50% of the time is taken into consideration that means what is the who is this please mute ama so what is the time between 21 hours to 6 hours how many hours are there how many hours are there 8 hours sir 21 hours to 21 uh, sorry 22 i am sorry so 22 hours to 6 hours we are having 22 hours to 16 24 hours we are having 2 hours and then odd hours to 6 hours so we are six having hours. another 6 hours. hours so totally we are having 8 hours this 8 hours we are making it as 2 and divided by 2 and demerage is calculated only for as if the rake is detained for 4 hours only why we are giving this facility anybody can say anybody can say why logic pure logic anybody can answer no lighting is possible for the benefit of the party as well as the benefit of the okay any other any other inputs any other thoughts okay the less reason table, is less table, less table, exactly so all these things whatever you people have told less lighting will be there people will be sleepy getting laborer is very difficult for all this we are taking into consideration and we are telling it's okay you are you are coming 50% you are coming half way we will meet you the other half way okay you have agreed to uh, load or unload the commodity in difficult conditions in the night 
even if you have very good lighting finding laborers everything is difficult with all that you also agreed to come halfway now it is like a marriage halfway you are coming the other halfway i will come like that we are telling and we are giving them this incentive of 50% time only will be reckoned for demerit okay incentive for reckoning only 50% of the time between 22 hours and 6 hours is not available for the following for what private and assisted sidings in sidings it is not there why because siding is his own land he can develop however he wants he can do any number of lighting activity he can do any number of uh, 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 facilities for the uh, unloading people so we don't give them this incentive we also don't give the incentive for eol scheme eol scheme means engine on load that means the engine will be attached to the rake till the completion of loading or unloading in such cases also because we we are already one engine is waiting locomotive is already available we will be wasting a lot of fuel and other things so eol or engine on load scheme where the engine is still attached to the goods rake in such cases it is not available but for all other cases this night incentive is available what is night incentive between 22 to 6 hours although actual hours is 8 we are although the actual hours is 8 we are calculating only for 4 hours we are giving him a very good incentive of 50 percent now power has been given power has been delegated to divisional railway managers to implement round the clock working at good sheds and sidings let me show you that uh, circular <coughs> See, this is a circular regarding 50%. It is reiterated that provision of reckoning only 50% of time for extended night working at a free time introduces an incentive as well as zonal raises towards round the clock working. Okay. So, this is that circular which I will be sharing. There is a lot of uh, calculation regarding how to calculate demerage and such other things which is not in the purview of this class because we are dealing at the very, very basic level. Okay, so this is the circular which we were talking about. The matter has been examined. Competent authority decided to delegate the power of implementing round the clock working of good shed to divisional railway manager. Anybody uh, is the screen visible for everybody? Are you able to read it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay. So that means on 4 1 2021. Why this letter railway board has told that divisional railway managers will be having the powers to uh, introduce round the clock working. That when 6 o'clock to 22 hours, whenever it is there, DRM can tell that this, e this good shed is going to be turned into round the clock. That means we will be giving the 4.7. Suitable infrastructure will be created by the railway administration like lighting, and uh, whatever other facilities, uh, uh, drinking water, toilet, resting place, warfage, sufficient lighting, approach road, all these things we, we make, then we can introduce round the clock working that the railway board has given. That power is delegated to the divisional railway managers. Okay. Uh, any doubts are there till now? Any doubts are sir, there till sir. now from anybody? Yes, sir. A small doubt is there, sir. Please tell. Sir, if the uh, free time is ended at 22 hours, sir, exactly, huh. and the party wants to do loading during night time also. Yes. So, do we do we need to give that benefit, sir? That 50 percent? Definitely, benefit? definitely, definitely. But free time, please remember, free time is please remember, no, just please remember that free time of eight hours. I mean, 50 percent is available only for the first night. Sir, sir. Okay. Only for okay. the first okay. night it is available, not for subsequent nights. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Only on day one, if it overlaps, okay, sir. it is available. Okay. If if Stop. demerage is incurring, then that will not come. If, if at all at 22 hours it is expiring, sir. then we cannot give him that incentive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We if cannot the free time is there, only, the free time is there, only when some free time, even if it is only one hour, it is okay. 
or even half an hour it is okay free so, time should be okay. available if the free time is expired at 22 hours and extension is asked then the sir. 50% rebate is not there for him yes sir yes sir we cannot give that please give that yeah. yes sir. this incentive is available only when there is still free time available in his account Okay, sir. यदि आधा घंटा हो या एक घंटा हो परवा नहीं बट देर शुड बी समाउंट ऑफ टाइम अवेलेबल फॉर इम ओकेज वेरी क्लियर इफ ट्वेंटी टू अवर्स इट इज गेटिंग ओवर देन ही हेज नो फ्री टाइम लेफ्ट वॉट एवर इज डूंगर्ड्स वी आर चार्जिंग इम डेमरेज एट द नॉर्मल रेट ओके एनी अदर डाउट्स एनी बडी थैंक यू Can you explain that UOL scheme uh, at good shape? Yeah, that's a that's uh, that's a separate class in itself, Sandhya. UOL means the uh, engine on load scheme. That means the locomotive will be still attached to the formation itself while the loading is going on. That means for the entire nine hours, the uh, engine will be attached to the formation. The engine also will be idling along with the wagons, waiting for the immediate disposal of the rake after loading usually what happens when the eol scheme is not there the rake will be uh, loading will be completed at say 2 uh, o'clock in the afternoon but to get the locomotive guard should be arranged locomotive should be arranged loco pilot should be arranged path should be there locomotive should, all these things are there no that may take 6 hours 8 hours sometimes even the next day to avoid that the uh, customers are asked to go for an engine on load scheme where we tell okay bhai we will give you a loco okay we will give you a loco we will ensure that the minute loading is completed we will drag it out with that locomotive we will take it further and further and further of course the locomotives will keep changing here and there but we will keep the wheel will always be in motion the advantage for the customer is that immediately after loading they need not wait for a locomotive the locomotive is already attached to the formation and it can go quicker delivery is possible but for the railway the problem is that the, our engine which is much more worthwhile than the wagon itself locomotive is much more worthwhile that is idling for 7 hours so any more time given will not be worth it get my point right okay uh, we will do a class on that so please note down what are the things which are left over for a separate class and we will have it done Uh, right now we are dealing only with the most basic at, at the ground level anybody having a doubt please ask a doubt anybody is having a doubt you can just ask sir one question more ha batae puchi rep detain hoti hai to usme kya engine bhi detain hoga to uska bhi charge lenge yes yes engine detention charge is also there for that for evol okay, okay. for evol yes Okay. Okay, okay now we will come to the next important topic we were sp- talking about the permissible free time is it not you will be wondering what is the permissible free time what is the free time that we are talking about now we are going in- deeply into that particular topic as i told you this free time is different for loading and unloading it is different for mechanized loading mechanized unloading manual loading manual unloading and it is different for different type of wagons also why so much of difference should be there anybody can tell why so much of difference is there sir it depends upon the wagon wagon carrying capacity sir they they they, they carry different carrying capacities yes that's a good that's a good way of telling it yes carrying capacity of the wagons are different therefore more uh, uh, sometimes more commodity must be loaded which will definitely take more time or less commodity may be loaded which will take less time comparatively if it is the same commodity but but sometimes what happens is the commodity itself is different the type of commodity itself is different so different commodities are handled differently okay Sir, yes, sir. If you are asked to, to transport sand or brick of equal quality, which is easier to transport, e- taking in your hand and putting it somewhere else, sand and uh, brick, which is easier to transport? 
sir brick is easy sir for men ah brick is easy because you are able to lift two on two on a hand two or four in a hand and take it and put it there again come back but sand how long will you go on taking it in your hand and taking it is it not it is very difficult so although the quantity is the same sand and brick are the same quantity by weight but the nature of the commodity makes it difficult to handle sand is it not yes sir yes, suppose i say suppose i say 100 uh, 10 tons of cotton versus 10 tons of iron 10 tons of iron and 10 tons of cotton which do you think is difficult to handle iron sir Iron, iron is iron. difficult to handle because iron 10 tons carrying is difficult but cotton you can split it into small bits and you can carry it yes sir so what i am trying to say is idhar main kya bolne ka cha raha hai ki jo nature of the commodity the quantity the type of methodology used for loading and unloading whether it is manual whether it can be put into bags or something whether it is a bagged consignment or loose consignment is it not so all these things will determine the free time now let us go into that free time free time for loading and unloading for different type of wagons have been prescribed by whom by the railway board zonal railways should make efforts through constant dialogue with the rail users to develop infrastructure for efficient handling of wagons to reduce terminal detention and improve wagon availability iska matlab kya hai जो फैक्ट्री का कारखाना वाला है उससे बात करना और बोलना कि भाई आप इतना छोटा छोटा लॉरी मत रखो बड़ा लॉरी रखो या सिर्फ 10 15 लेबरर्स मत रखो 50 20 20 50 लेबरर्स ज्यादा रखो क्योंकि जल्दी लोड कर सकते ऐसे बात करना है हम पार्टी का साथ कस्टमर का साथ और बोलना कि जितना जल्दी आप करेगा आपको भी उचित है हमको भी उचित है बोल के करना पड़ेगा ओके नाउ वी विल सी द फ्री टाइम ओपन वैगन सो व्हाट विल बी कैरिड इन द ओपन वैगन यूजुअली आयरन एंड स्टील लूज कमोडिटीज लाइक दैट फॉर द यस परमिशेबल फ्री टाइम इन आवर्स एंड मिनिट्स for mechanized loading of these type of wagons 5 hours you can see here for unloading we are giving 7 hours time, sir, more time loading is easy than unloading so usko kam time de raha hai aur unloading ko zyada time de raha hai manually kara to isi wagon mein aap manual kiya to 9 ghanta de raha hai loading ko aur unloading ko bhi 9 ghanta de raha hai Okay, again my session is going to expire. We will come to a new session, but I have got another eight minutes to go. I'll carry on here. Hooper wagons. For these type of wagons, loading five hours if it is mechanical. Two and a half hours only for unloading if it is mechanical. See here. Why? Anybody who tells me will get a five star Cadbury's. Yes, sir. Please ask the person again. Or a silky, silky chocolate you will get. Tell me. Sir, you don't repeat the question. See, for a hooper wagon, you can see on the screen I am making it blue. For loading, we are giving five hours. For unloading, we are giving only two and a half hours. Sir, hooper wagon is our down, sir. Down line windows, doors, so that you can. Sir, this hooper wagon. Ah. Have doors on the down side, below, below, ah. below the wagon. Ah. So unloading is very easy. They are unloading, sir. Ah, see, station masters are able to tell better than commercial clerks, sir. Ah, we should be ashamed. How is station superintendent is answering? Station master, my answer is the answer. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Ah, children, see, sir, we should be really feeling a bit uh, jittery now, by now. Yeah, station master superintendent is telling who is basically an operating man. We should. Pep up our knowledge. There is no use in staying like a frog in the well. Okay. What uh, Srinivasu told is very good and very correct. So he is getting a silky chocolate from me. I'll somehow reach it out to him. It is very easy to understand because for a hooper wagon, the loading is from the top. You have to use a crane or some other uh, Hitachi machine to load into a hooper wagon. But for unloading a hooper wagon, nothing needs to be done. They simply need to open a door in the bottom 
and the contents will gravity will take care of it and it will come out on its own it is gravity based unloading okay so it becomes easier and because the commodity is such nature there is no question of manual loading and unloading for hooper wagon okay coming to the next type of wagon flat wagon bfr we have discussed actually what is bf f mean flat wagon i have told you how to look into it indiarailinfo.com if you go you can see it i have already discussed how to do it for loading 6 hours for mechanized unloading it is not available why think over and tell me manual loading 8 hours manual unloading again unloading also 8 hours whether it is manual loading or unloading 8 hours time now we are coming to a very important wagon pcn hl or bogey covered air braked bogey covered air brake higher capacity wagons bcn hl wagons yes, in sir. that no mechanized loading or unloading why because it is, it is not possible, possible. Yes, the, sir, sir. there is, is no possible. opening on the top there is no yes, opening sir. on the top so it is not possible here the free time is a little different here the free time becomes a little different let me show you what it is see here for manual loading manual loading if it is one wagon to 20 wagons we are giving free of 5 hours free time if it is seven wagons we are giving uh, we are seven hours is given for 21 to 30 wagons nine hours is given for 31 to 48 wagons 46 and above that is up to 58 we are giving them 11 hours the same for unloading 5 hours for 1 to 20, 7 hours for 21 to 30 wagons, 9 hours for 31 to 45 wagons and 11 hours for a complete rake. Now, covered wagons other than BCNHL, for that we have made a separate different this thing. 5 hours, 7 hours and 9 hours only. At 9 hours we are stopping. Can anybody tell why? <laughs> Can, sorry, can anybody tell why? The reason is simple because only BC and HL which is a covered wagon is having 58 as their capacity. Yes, sir, all, other, all other covered wagons, the, the rake will be only 42 wagons. We have already discussed it. So, yes, sir, sir. for that we are giving only 9 hours. Okay. So, there is a difference between BC and HL wagons and other covered wagons other than BCNHL. Okay. Then tank wagons, oil tank wagons, all cases of wagons here. In all, in all cases other than specified as for black oil, 6 hours is the time given for loading and up to 29 wagons 6 hours and up 30 and above we are giving 8 hours. So, here loading we are giving only 6 hours constant. Why? Can anybody tell the logic? Sir, loading will be done. All the all the wagons will be done at a time, sir. This tank wagons. Unloading also will be done at the same time. Sir. Unloading is also at the same time. But why we are giving more time? Because when you are loading it, all the wagons are done simultaneously using a pump, which is pushing the oil into the tank wagon, which is very easy. Whereas, okay. when you are unloading the tank wagons, when you are unloading the tank wagons, gravity will see that all the wagons are decanted at the same time and the pipe which is there to carry it to the tank, no, that has to work against gravity. Yes, sir. Even if there is a very big motor pump, still it has to work against gravity to fill up the water at the tank. So, obviously it will take more time, that is the logic. Now, tank wagon containing black oil, light diesel oil, heavy sulfur, all this, that is a black oil is a very viscosity is more, that means it is very thick liquid. Because it is a very thick liquid wagon, we are giving them a different time, 7 hours for loading and up to 29 wagons 7 hours and above 30 wagons we are giving them 9 hours. Any, any doubts in this? Three minutes, is there any doubts in this before we go to the next uh, Zoom? 
you have to ask doubts if you are keeping the doubts uh, bottled up there is no uh, there is no point in this class mm -hmm. so somey are you having any doubts yes sir <laughs> yeah you should ask see if you don't sir, ask about but if it is mixed bagger then then mixed wagon yeah yeah you mean to say some wagons are bcn hl and some wagons are bcn yes, yes no that type of supply is not done we have told block rakes when you talk of block rake there will be a, mi a mixture of mixture within itself the breeding is inbreeding that means one pomeranian and one doberman not one pomeranian with a sheep okay sir we don't do that sheep and uh, pomeranian that is done only in the genetic laboratory here you you may see here i am whatever i am doing in blue you see my screen so these wagons they can be interchanged intermixed okay if they are intermixed the loading and the unloading time are same again these type yeah. of wagons these type of wagons can be intermixed if these type of wagons are intermixed again they are same like that we don't do Sir, we don't do we don't give a few bcn hl wagons and a few bcn wagons that is not done that is not that is not a rake that is not a block rake okay okay sir and this might not be an additional calamity occur like a land sliding or something and due to that if it is detained then yeah that is act of god that is why we are telling demurrage is not a permanent thing the demurrage which is paid can be refunded back to the customer if at all he appeals and the appeal is found to be justified okay so like they have to appeal be be like if it is a natural calamity that can be considered or they have to go for appeal whatever happens they have to appeal okay even even during covid <clears throat> even during covid there is a clause in the law okay this session is going to close i'm going to come to the new session and i'll tell you more about that okay sir thank you sir ma sorry ma ah uh, Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll give one minute time for everybody to join, and then I'll continue. okay um yeah uh somya there is a are you able to listen uh okay uh am i audible yes sir audible sir okay somya you asked what happens if there is a landslide what happens if there is something 
in such cases there is a word in uh, legal parlance in the law there is a word called i have highlighted it on my screen you can see that is called force majeure okay force majeure is a very important legal term which means unforeseeable circumstances that prevent someone from fulfilling a contract okay somya hello yes sir okay that force majeure is a very important legal term which means that i have tried my best i have tried my best to fulfill the contract nonetheless something beyond me an act of god he is preventing me from fulfilling the contract i am trying as much as i want but it is not working out that is called a force majeure condition which is a very important legal term you people should know in the case of covid in the case of a landslide in the case of a sudden flooding or an earthquake or whatever man made commodity calamity or uh, natural calamity whatever be it in spite of everything that can be done on the part of the customer he is not able to do it because he cannot do it like covid in that is called a force major condition in force major conditions 99.9% of the time 100% waiver will be given for damage calculated okay okay is it clear yes sir okay now going ahead सर ये फ्लैट वैगन हाँ सर ये फ्लैट वैगन में मैकेनाइज्ड अनलोडिंग ये नॉट एप्लीकेबल इसको एक बार बताओ सर मैकेनाइज्ड अनलोडिंग नॉट परमिट नॉट पॉसिबल इन 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 दिस बिकॉज़ दे अनलोडिंग कैन नॉट बी डन यूजिंग ए क्रेन और समथिंग लाइक दैट फॉर अ फ्लैट वैगन Lo loading can be done with a crane unloading cannot be done with a crane for a flat wagon in a open wagon it can be done open wagon mein crane se kar sakta hai magar ye jo flat wagon hai usse <coughs> usse hum nahi kar sakta because the wagon is made that way whatever is loaded on the wagon cannot be unloaded by a crane okay because it has no side walls crane can be used when there is a side wall when there is no side wall for uh, प्लीज हम सर ये कंटेनर से ये फ्लैट वैगन पे कंटेनर लोड करते हैं और इनको अनलोड बाइक क्रेन ही तो करते हैं हाँ एग्जैक्टली क्रेन नो 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 ये इन 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 वील आई कम टू कंटेनर 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 सभी नीचे है कंटेनर सर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम फ्लैट वैगन सर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यस कंटेनर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम फ्लैट वैगन कंटेनर के बारे में मैं बताता हूं अभी ओके सो टैंक वैगन इज ओवर वी आर कमिंग टू मिलिट्री वैगन मिलिट्री वैगन मैकेनिकल लोडिंग एंड अनलोडिंग इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल फॉर मैनुअल लोडिंग एंड मैनुअल अनलोडिंग फोर आवर्स फ्री टाइम इज गिवन मिलिट्री वैगन अदर देन के एम वैगन के एम वैगन इज अ स्मॉल फोर व्हीलर वैगन फॉर ऑल अदर वैगन लाइक डी बी के एम Again, manual loading and uh, I mean uh, mechanized loading and unloading is not available. Up to five wagons, twenty hours free time for loading and for unloading. It is a common one. Five hours for up to twenty wagons and seven hours for twenty-one wagons and above. This I have already shared in the goods notes with you. You can go through it. Otherwise, you want me to send a separate uh, 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 note to you. I can send it the also. Okay. So it is. you just have to remember it because it is very very important anybody having a doubt okay going ahead hello containers hello. now we are coming to containers the type for containers it is 3 hours and 3 hours free time because it is a crane consignment there is no question of uh, manual loading or unloading container is a very very heavy uh, box which is placed on a flat wagon a complete box sealed box is placed on a flat wagon that is called a container for containers it is 3 hours for loading and 3 hours for unloading which is totally mechanical mechanized then 
क्रेन कंसाइनमेंट वेन अ कंसाइनमेंट इज हैंडल्ड बै क्रेन अब्वियली इट इस मेकानाइज लोडिंग अंड अनलोडिंग सेवन अवर्स फॉर् लोडिंग अंड एट अवर्स फॉर् अनलोडिंग वेर एवर दिस इज देर इज अ लिटल मोर टाइम गिवन फॉर् क्रेन कंसाइनमेंट फॉर् अनलोडिंग बिकॉज अनलोडिंग इज अ लिटल रिस्की अंड टाइम कंस्यूमिंग दैन लोडिंग लाइव स्टाक अब्वियली देर इज नो मेकानाइज लोडिंग अंड अनलोडिंग For all livestock, loading and unloading is constant four hours. Okay. The other notes which is there in your uh, book, you can read. It is not having a much uh, much of a uh, impact on our day-to-day -day operations. Now this is about demurrage. <coughs> <coughs> so I will take up questions now. I will keep this book in front of me. and uh, anybody has a doubt you can uh, you can go ahead and then we will take up uh, warfare charge see you should not keep I'll your see. doubts bottled up kya aapka kisi doubt hai to shak hai to usi time ko puch lo aisa nahi hai ki kya sir kisi ko bhi nahi aata ye doubt ye pichle class mein mrs selvi ne bataya ki sir i am hesitant to ask ab yadi hesitant ho Uh, क्या होता है ना आपका शर्म आया तो कहाँ भी कि, किसी चीज पूछ नहीं सकता आप uh, इसके लिए मैं uh, सेल्वी जी को एक uh, 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 नोट भी uh, रखा ग्रुप में कि इट्स लाइक के नस्ट्रोनॉट यू नो वो क्या मार्स तक जा रहा है चंद्रयान में जाता है मार्स को जाता है अपोलो में जा अपोलो में चल के उधर uh, चंद्रमान में uh, हमारा uh, अमेरिका का झंडा भी रखा मगर उसको चाय बनाने के लिए आता नहीं है ना सबको सब चीज आता नहीं हमको इतना चीज नहीं जानता कि जब कोई ने पूछा तो ही हमको मन में आता है कि अरे यार इसको मुझे जानता ही नहीं आप यदि एक टेलर के पास जाइए सर इधर ही बैठे हो आधा घंटा में आप एक शर्ट और पैंट दोनों भी स्टिच करके देता है बोलते हैं आपको एक बटन निकाला तो निकाल गया तो उसको आप उसको सीव नहीं कर सकता है ना एक एक आदमी का एक एक टैलेंट होता है आपका आपका पैर में चार हजार रुपये का एक शू होगा वो टूट गया तो आपका शू नहीं कर सकता वो काबलर का पास जाना है वो काबलर सिर्फ दस रुपये लेता मगर अच्छा कर, काम करके देता है ना ऐसा है आ, हमारा जीवन में ही वैसा ही है आप जितना शर्म शर्म में आप बैठा था या जितना आप क्लॉस्टर्ड शेल शेल में जाके बैठते हैं आप बाहर का किसी किसी भी मालूम नहीं होता आपको बिना शर्म क्वेश्चंस पूछना इसके लिए ये क्लास है और बेसिक क्लास वो भी हाँ यस सर फ्लैट वैगन में कंटेनर और कौन से कर सकते हैं नो ऑल फ्लैट वैगन विल कैन बी लोडेड विथ आयरन स्टील कमोडिटी एनी आयरन स्टील कमोडिटी क्या क्या फ्लैट वैगन में क्या क्या लोड होता है चार पट्टी पट्टी करेक्ट 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 दैट इज ऑल्सो दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी लोडेड सी हियर वी हैव गिवन वी हैव गिवन ऑल द फोर इफ इट इज इन फ्लैट वैगन वी हैव गिवन लोडिंग मैकेनिकल और लोडिंग मैनुअल दोनों भी कर सकता है पर चार तो है भी होता सर वो मैन्युअली अनलोड पॉसिबल नहीं वो ट्रेन द्वारा एंटर होता है ये क्या क्या पूछ रहे फ्लैट वैगन में हां एच एन चार तो आप समझ रहे सर कमोडिटी एच आर ट्रायल्स जो होती है जो स्टील प्लांट में स्टील प्लांट से आती है एच आर कॉइल्स ओके 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 हां एच आर कॉइल्स वो तो सर अनलोड मशीन के द्वारा होता है Unloading is also mechanical only, correct, correct, correct. Ah, so what? Any answer? Ah, let me get back to you after clarification with somebody. Okay. Hmm. I'll I'll get back. That is a good question. I'll get back to you. Okay. Why it is not available? Okay, okay, okay. Sir, a flat wagon man Concord container is there, or is it different? नहीं होता है फ्लैट वैगन में 
सपोर्ट नहीं रहता भाई फ्लैट वैगन यू कैनॉट टेक टेक बैग कंजर्मेंट यू कैन टेक इट इन ओपन वैगन्स आई हैव नॉट सीन फ्लैट वैगन्स विथ बैग कंजर्मेंट बिकॉज देन यू हैव टू पुट टर्पल इन कंप्लीटली एंड कवर इट विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल ओपन वैगन में कर सकता है क्योंकि सपोर्ट होता है साइड्स में शक वही दूसरा आदमी भी पूछा कोई भी पूछा मैं उसके बारे में थोड़ा किसी को पूछ के मैं बताता हूँ ओनली वन डाउट इज देर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दट इज दिस दिस ब्लू वन हियर करेक्ट यस सर ओके उसको पूछ के ये जो ये जो टाइपिंग एरर ये ये टाइपिंग एरर है क्या मेरा डाउट है ये टाइपिंग एरर होता है शायद ओके आई थिंक इट इज अ टाइपिंग एरर जब ये ये इसको नोट्स बनाया उसका शायद कुछ प्रॉब्लम है Anybody else? Any other questions? Shall we go further? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll go further. Shall we? Your mic is not working, or don't have it out. Where is our CRS? Uh, he was there. Mumbai CRS was there. No, what is his name? Uh, Rahul or something. Okay. He is also not there today. Okay. Now we will go to the next point called warfare charge. Now warfare charge is a little different from demerit charge. What is warfare? Can anybody tell what is warfare charge? Demerit is the charge collected from the customer for delay in loading or unloading. But what is warfare? Warfare, sir. Railway, sir. Railway. 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 Yes. After the completion of unloading, the material has to be taken out from the railway premises. Okay. If at all it is direct lorry to wagon or direct wagon to lorry, that question does not arise. But if the consignment is placed in the railway land, then we are collecting some ground rent. or rent for the railway space that is called warfage ye hamara jo demerage hai dekha to pura bharat mein ek hi rate hoga sab wagon ko ek hi rate hoga 150 rupaye ek ghanta ka ya iska part progressively increasing in stages but warfage hi aise hi kar sakta pura bharat mein ek hi rate डाल सकता नो सर डिपेंड्स अपॉन द दिस दिस गुड शिट सर डिपेंड डिमांडिंग क्यों क्यों वही द प्लेस वैल्यू सर द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ द गुड शिट मतलब द द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द गुड शिट सर यस लाइक द गुड शिट में यदि आप एक घर या मकान आप रेंट के लिए ले रहे हैं उसी स्क्वायर फीट का रेंट बैंगलोर में यदि आठ हजार हो मुंबई में उसको बीस हजार मिलता है और एक छोटा सा शहर जो बेंगलोर से सिर्फ बीस किलोमीटर दूर है वहां तीन हजार या चार हजार में भी मिल सकता है है ना इसका मतलब है जो रेंटल है फॉर द सेम एरिया 
वो शहर से शहर गांव से गांव अलग होता है ओके इट डिफर्स ये क्यों अलग होता है क्योंकि वहाँ का डिमांड और सप्लाई यदि डिमांड ज़्यादा होगा और सप्लाई कम होगा आपका जो प्राइस है बढ़ जाएगा यदि डिमांड कम है सप्लाई ज़्यादा है उसका दाम या उसका प्राइस कम होगा दो महीने में हम देखा है टोमेटो का दाम कैसे बढ़ गया और कैसे निकल नी, नीचे आ गया दस रुपए किलो था बीस हो गया पच्चीस हुआ दो सौ रुपये तक गया बाद में एक टाइम तीन सौ रुपये को भी गया केजी को और उस टाइम डिमांड बहुत ज़्यादा था डिमांड का मुताबिक सप्लाई कम था सप्लाई कम था डिमांड ज़्यादा था तीन सौ रुपये को गया था टोमेटो का दाम एक किलो के लिए और अभी अच्छा बारिश आया और सप्लाई बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया जब सप्लाई ज़्यादा हो गया फिर दस रुपये किलो के लिए नीचे आ गया दैट इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सप्लाई एंड डिमांड गैप टोमेटो रेट्स ऑनियन रेट्स इन इंडिया सो एम सॉरी सो लाइक दैट द प्राइस इज डिटर्मेंड बाई द प्लेस ओके सो नो शेयरिंग बैक द स्क्रीन वारफे चार्ज वेरीज फ्रॉम सिटी टू सिटी प्लेस टू प्लेस वारफे चार्ज शुड बी लिविड ऑन गुड्स और कंजेनमेंट नॉट रिमूव फ्रॉम द रेलवे प्रेमिस आफ्टर द एक्सपायरी ऑफ द फ्री टाइम वारफे चार्ज इस टाइम नहीं होता जब आप वैगन से डायरेक्ट ट्रक को लोडिंग करता या डायरेक्ट ट्रक से वैगन को लोडिंग करता उस टाइम को हम ये जो बात है आ, इसका क्या बोलते हैं वारफेज का सवाल नहीं आता हाउ एवर इट इज नॉट लेवेबल वॉट इज नॉट लेवेबल वारफेज चार्ज इज नॉट लेवेबल फॉर डिटेंशन ऑफ गुड्स ऑफ ए रेलवे वैगन और अट ए प्राइवेट साइडिंग ये क्यों है लैंड हमारा नहीं है लैंड उसका है उसका लैंड में हम वारफे चार्ज नहीं ले सकता क्योंकि वो उनका लैंड है कभी भी हो वो ले सकता है कभी भी वो उधर रख सकता है ओके नो वारफेज विल बी लेवीड ऑन कंजेनमेंट हेल्ड बाई द रेलवे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेक्शन 83। दिस वन पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू यू लेटर ऑन दैट मीन्स वेन समबड़ी सीज टू द मेटीरियल under section 83 of the railway act when the railway is not ready to give delivery itself when the railway itself is not delivering the consignment to the party then or some other administration is not ready to give delivery to the party in such cases warfare charge is not levied on the party okay we will be discussing more about it shortly classification of railway premises Railway premises or goods sheds will be classified into three groups as prescribed by the average number of rakes dealt during the period from January first to April thirtieth. Har ek saal January ek se 30 April tak January February March April in four months ka pura kitna rake deal kia. उसका मुताबिक ये स्टेशन को क्लासीफाई कर रहा है मतलब जितना रेख ज्यादा है उतना वारफेज ज्यादा होगा क्योंकि उधर डिमांड ज्यादा है रेख ज्यादा आ रहा है और हमारा जगह अमूल्य हो रहा है इसके लिए जब रेख बढ़ेगा वारफेज बढ़ेगा और कितना रेख महीने का वो कैसे कैलकुलेट करेगा इन चार महीने जनवरी फेब्रवरी मार्च अप्रैल का एवरेज करके करेगा ओके ग्रुप वन मोर देन ट्वेल्व रेक्स ए मंथ ग्रुप टू सेवन टू ट्वेल्व रेक्स ए मंथ ग्रुप थ्री लेस देन सेवन रेक्स ए मंथ नाउ इफ आई हैव टू पुट इट इन एन एक्सेल एंड शो इट यू
<coughs> so let us assume january february march april okay so let us take this uh, excel and check up so if in january if it is 10 rakes february it is 15 rakes march it is 8 rakes and april it is 12 rakes what is the total number of rakes for these four months we have to calculate it is 45 then we have to divide this by 4 okay we will be dividing this by 4 so what is the number of rakes 11.25 so 11.25 comes under which class can anybody tell group b group 2 group 2 very good so this is group roman 2 okay now the same thing i can copy and paste it here but i will make this there are only four rakes here there are six rakes here there is two rakes here there was zero rake here so so what group this is coming in how many rakes are there here three three rakes so what is that three rakes group 3 will come under group 3 yes it comes under group 3 okay one more example we will see he is getting uh, 20 rakes here uh, no i'll copy this and paste here that formula also will get copied everything will get copied so there are 20 rakes here 15 rakes here 25 rakes here 30 rakes here how many rakes are coming here 23 22 and half is the average rakes so under which it should come one i am having average of 22 and half rakes Uh, group one, yeah, it is group one. That means to say that which is the highest group one is highest, group two is mid, and group three is the lowest. What we mean to say is, if the this Excel has demonstrated to you under which the rake will come and how to calculate, how to come about it. First January to thirtieth April, you are taking the total number of rakes and averaging it out. Okay, so this classification should be reviewed every year in the month of May based on the actual performance first January to thirtieth April of the average. Okay, now for this we are giving free time. If it is group one, how much free time we are giving? If it is group one, we are giving free time of twelve working hours after the expiry of free time. So how much? कितना घंटा दे रहे? Twelve hours दे रहे. This will be free time plus twelve hours, no, sir. I will remove and put this fellow here because it becomes one, two, three hours. Okay, so this will become easier for you to understand. Okay, so group one, twelve hours free time after the expiry of free time. That is, my only twelve hours he is having after unloading. Group two, we are giving fifteen hours. Fifteen hours. Fifteen hours. Whereas for group three, how many hours we are giving? Seventy-two hours. Seventy-two hours. Seventy-two hours. We are giving seventy-two hours. Can anybody tell what is the logic? Can anybody there connect? Is, there, is, there is no much demand in group C, sir. Uh, group three. Correct, exactly. But what is the logic? We assume that only three rakes are coming for average per month. That means three rakes means per month means we are having thirty days. Is it not? Thirty days we are having. Let me make the calculation here. We are having thirty days in a month. Thirty is equal to is equal to thirty days by three. 
we are having 10 days time for one between one wagon to another wagon average we are all talking about average only okay all these calculations are only average so for group 3 station we are having 10 days time how much is 10 days time in hours is equal to 10 days into 24 hours 240 hours average time you are having in that we are getting 72 hours like that if you work out for this for this one group 2 station for group 2 station for 30 days is equal to 30 ok by this 2 and half then when we when we make it what is it coming 2.7 2 rakes are there for every 30 days get my point what I am trying to say yes sir understood sir understood ok so this is this is equal to this into 24 64 hours time is there between any two we are giving 15 hours that means we are still having lot of time same if you come to group 1 station this much by 30 days ok yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, sorry it should be 30 by um, is equal to the uh, is equal to 30 divided by 22.5 1.3 so this 1.3 is equal to this into 24 only 32 hours time we are having before the next take is likely to come we are giving him 12 hours so you can see that 12 hours 15 hours and 72 hours is the time given but actually between one rake to another rake we are having 32 hours 64 hours and 240 hours still we are having lot of time for us in our hand ok are you able to understand the logic yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Logic, sir. Yes, sir. so how is warfage stations classified they are classified into group 1 group 2 and group 3 that group 1 is more than 12 rakes per month between 7 to 12 rakes is group 2 and less than 7 rakes is group 3 let us assume that this station this particular station we will call the station A this station B and this is station C station A suddenly what happens station A increases station A it becomes uh, it, it, this is station C let me say let me see station C which is in group C uh, suddenly it starts getting wagon so it becomes 25 wagons here ok and then 30 wagons here and then 25 wagons here and suddenly 15 wagons here it goes into which group group 1 sir group ah, group one. it goes into group 1 so when that is why we are telling every year we have to make this change because suddenly a station which is very good very bad may become very good or a station which is very bad may become very good both are possible sometimes it may become bad to worse sometimes it may become worse to good that is why we are always trying to do the average in January, February, March, April which is known to be a peak season for railway for a railway for a railway this is the peak season that is why we are making that calculation here and the second thing is oh, only only 8 minutes is there after that we will open a new session so 12 working hours for group 1 15 working hours for group 2 72 working hours for group 3 here you can see the logic why it is like that let me make this back again uh, ok now you can see the logic because we have the time limit here is equivalent to the number of rakes dealt if the rakes per month is less we can give more time for him this logic you can tell like supposing somebody you have given 100 rupees loan and somebody else you have given 2 lakh rupee loan which, which loan you want to get cleared fast 100 rupees hey kai se aap jo 3 lakh diya hai aapko dar hai kab wo mar jata hai aapka paise usko job mein rakh ke mar jata 
आपका जो ज्यादा लोन दिया है उसको आप फिकर ज्यादा करता है छोटा सौ रुपए का लोन का आप फिकर फिकर करते हैं ज्यादा या तीन लाख का नहीं हाँ इसीलिए हमको ये ग्रुप वन का हम हमारा मन में ज्यादा दबाव है इसके लिए सिर्फ बारह घंटा देता है ग्रुप टू ग्रुप टू में हमको मालूम है एक रेक सिक्सटी फोर आवर्स तक एक रेक नहीं आएगा पंद्रह घंटा दिया है और ग्रुप सी में हमको मालूम है दो सौ चालीस घंटा के लिए एक गाड़ी नहीं आएगा इसके लिए उसको सेवेंटी टू आवर्स दिया है मन में आया क्या बोल रहा हूं मैं आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्ट ओके हाँ ये मा फर्स्ट केस वॉज गुड स्टैक इन गुड शेड वेटिंग टू बी लोडेड इन वैगन और रेक द सेकेंड पॉइंट इज Goods unloaded from wagon waiting to be removed. Both are having the same amount of free time. You can see A and B. A and B are to be loaded and to be removed. इसका फर्क आपको मन में आ रहा है? ये है loading के लिए, ये है removal after unloading. इन दोनों का time ये की है group one, group two और group three को 12 घंटा, 15 घंटा और 72 hours. National holidays. 26 January, 15th August, 2nd October will not be reckoned while calculating free time or wharfage at notified station. There are certain stations called as notified stations. Only in those places, this uh, uh, only in those places, even on 26th August, 15th uh, uh, 15th August, 26th January and 2nd October, we will be cal we will be calculating that uh, wharfage. But for notified stations, on those days also we will be calculating the warfage. Okay. So another five minutes is there. Any doubts is there? You can ask me. Uh, we can come back always to this class whenever we want. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. Uh, sir, in demurrage also these three days are included, no na? Demurrage. No, like no, I, in demerit charges, you strictly said, na? Like this, these are also considered to calculate demerit yes, charges. Yes, yes. So, is there any notified station for that? Yes, I am telling you about notified stations. See how the notified stations are reckoned. Everything is there. There is a separate class on that. I have to take a class on that, and also I have to take okay. a class continuing this. Next week we will continue. What is the warfage? And I have to do some calculations also for demerit and warfage. That I can do it next okay. week. What is this notified station? How is this notified station uh, reckoned? Who tells what a notified station is? All that I have to take a class. This this class did not end here. It is only paused. For next week we have to continue. Okay. Yes sir. Yes sir. Any doubts from anybody? Any doubts from anybody from for up to the portion sir, that we have come? Sir, one question. Sir, one. Yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, who is advised to make a notified station? That is not available. Uska ek class lena padega next next week. I'll tell what is notified station, who can notify a station, what is meant by notified station, and what is the warfage uh, charge? How to calculate warfage? Warfage charge ke baare mein abhi hum baat nahi kiya na. हम्म 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 वो वो सब वो सब नेक्स्ट यस सर रेलवे बोर्ड में नोटिफाई द स्टेशन सर सर यू 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 आर आर नोइंग अदर्स डोंट नो मा श्रीनिवास लो यू नो अदर्स डोंट नो वी विल टेक टेक दैट क्लास नेक्स्ट वीक एनीबडी हैविंग अ डाउट यू कैन आस्क अदरवाइज आई विल क्लोज द क्लास शेल वी क्लोज द क्लास any doubts i don't want to put too much in a, on one day i want you to give give time to you so that you can go back read these notes assimilate it you know what is assimilation 
after eating there are another process called assimilation and digestion so exactly. assimilation should go on and then digestion should take place then only excretion after eating excretion does not happen directly it happens after assimilation and digestion these two process i want you to do up to next week and ask doubts any time you can ask on the whatsapp any doubt you have okay shall we close the class okay sir okay sir anybody having a doubt you can take up one more minute is there two minutes is there somebody wants to ask something okay thank you no problem any doubts anybody no, no sir no, thank sir. you sir thank you okay see he is get ready to get rid of me he is telling thank you when he says thank you that means get lost okay thank you all for attending have a nice day thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank thanks sir thank you bye 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 i am ending the class thank you sir thank you i am ending the class okay sir bye sir bye okay bye